Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Out here in the wood shop today, it's raining out, and uh, got the wood fire going. Yesterday, uh, I guess it was actually the day before yesterday. I mean, yesterday we put in a bunch of firewood, and uh, you know, we got some fire going, and uh, it's pretty nice in here. 60, almost 65. It will be probably 70 in here in a little while. But I'm gonna go ahead. Yesterday I went and jointed the backs of all of these clapboards. You know, some of them had such a crook to them that I actually cut them in half. But today we are gonna, or I'm gonna, go ahead and plane those down. Try to get, uh, I need about 20, 20 to 22 of them probably, maybe less, I don't know. I've got uh, four feet left in the point up there to do. And it's 12 feet wide, 4 feet high. 8, 12 pitch. So, um, not a lot. I mean, right now, you know, you put a stick and a half up and you've got a cross done. So, and I only got to go up 12 pieces. So, yeah, 12. Yeah, it ain't going to take that much. Christ, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, maybe 15 or 16 pieces, if that. I've probably got enough right here to finish it. But I'm going to keep doing this pile. I want to get rid of this pile. Um, you know, right now it's just taking up space. And I got some other, you know, stuff I wouldn't mind having in the shop that I could have over against the edge. And uh, I don't know what this says here. Oh, there's 25 rows below that. Yeah, that's how many. So five times 25, 125 pieces. So... Anyway, I got quite a few pieces here to do, so I'll uh, take some little snippets of what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get something done today. That there was something I'm trying new. Um, these two cords, you know, to run these two pieces of machinery have always aggravated me because they don't lay flat, and have tripped over them a time or two. This here, I know it's there, and uh, it holds them nice and tight on the floor so i'm hoping that's going to be an improvement i don't know i don't actually like to screw stuff to the floor but i did on that case just four screws so i don't think it'll ruin it too much but anyway yeah we're going to get the old plane and go in here mm -hmm. these spot boards have defects in them but you'll notice this is more than a half inch so we'll plane on this side so we get rid of the defects yeah. I mean, it's only for the band, but still, I feel like it works out here.
Well, it's all quiet now. Got about uh, half a bag of chips down there. Not too bad. The old, uh, you know, don't pick them all up. You still get some mass, but it's nothing like it was without it. So I wanted to show you these. Move them in my ear. Yeah, my side of the way. <clears throat> so for the most part, most of these came out good. You know, um, some of them tore out a little on the top. This one here, I'll probably cut it off here. Use this section. But uh, <clears throat> for the most part, they're good. Pretty nice looking clapboards. There it is, a cocker. So a lot of them, this right here, <clears throat> What I'll do is I'll put this side out and I'll trim it off right here. And this right here, due to the fact that they're only, you know, four inches to weather, which is about that much, she'll cover right over. So, pretty good bunch. I don't know how many there is here. Um, there must be uh, 12 or so, 13, 14, I don't know. I don't think there's quite enough. I'm gonna do some more. These ones over here, I'll show them to you. These are full of pitch pockets. And I'm just gonna chop them into kindling. Um, I didn't even finish planing that last one. But you know, I don't want that crap on my building. You know, they're all full of this pitch pocket stuff. Um, look at this mess. Just happened to be a bad place in the pine. So, anyway, we'll scrap them too. Some people would use them, but I'm not gonna. I'm too fussy, I guess. But anyway, that's what I'm up to today. Um, the other day we put on, I think, 11, 11 rows across the outside, me and Carol. Um, happened to have a day, it was about 45 degrees and sunny in the afternoon with no wind. So I went out on the staging. Got quite a lot done. But as you can see, today's not the day to be doing it. It's uh, raining out there, you know, just one of those things. I don't know how much we're supposed to get, but we're basically up to 61 inches of rain this year. Alan says he's got 69 on his rain gauge. I don't know how he gets more than I do all the time, but he does. Um, I know we've got two of them running side by side and they're usually within a hundredth of an inch of each other. So I'm pretty sure mine's accurate. Um, don't want to lug off my matches. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing to keep busy. We finally got the shop back. Um, I like it a lot. So I got to work through these piles. I'm going to keep working today. I'm not going to film anymore because, you know, I mean, how many clapboards can you watch go through a planer? So as you can see, these are the ones that there is four over four inches you know there's about four and three eighths here so they'll overlap uh, these are all good enough to use on the van and i'm going to paint them up these are the first batch so the first batch really was kind of not that good of a batch but i'll paint them up anyway this here was the second batch i just got done doing you can see the pile's gone down quite a bit over there there's quite a few uh, five inch ones there that's gotta be plain, but I'm not worrying about them today. But that right there is a perfect, and I mean a perfect riffs on clapboard. Not quarter sawn, riffs on. So quarter sawn is a procedure. It does give you vertical grain and angled grain up to about 25, 30 degrees. Riffs on gives you vertical grain continuously and riffs on technically is actually what they call uh, a lot of people call radially sawn um, but if you go back to the patent office when they were patenting all the clapboards clapboard machines um, they all mention riffs on and it will say after that usually in parentheses the blade is always heading to the middle of the log so Anyway, these are actually riffs on clapboards. You know, you can't see that grain there, but you uh, you can see on the square edge ones here. You know, they're all vertical grain. And uh, anyway, pretty good batch of them here. I get into some stuff there down below that was out of the same area on the log. Um, I'll show them to you here. They kept blowing apart. See this one right here? It's about a 
16 inches from the end. This is the one beside of it. Blow out the same. This is another one beside of it. You can see when the grain's funky, it just doesn't like being plain thin. Um, I think this was getting far enough away. It's probably the same, same piece of wood, but you can see it still, it's got funky grain in it. Uh, once you get away from that, they're all, all real good. You know, there's another couple of perfect clapboards right there. So, second batch did better than the first. I gotta uh, trim the ends on these and I'm gonna put some paint on them. I think I got enough between this pile and that pile probably to finish that. But I'll probably do another batch too, maybe later this afternoon, maybe tomorrow. It's, uh, what is it now, two o'clock? We did a bunch of uh, groceries today and all that crap. You know, we've been running around. I haven't been just doing this. So anyway, hope everybody's keeping safe out there. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.